Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? I think I'll make a quick little video and give everybody an update on what's been going on. Um, as you can see, if none of you all have ever bought these, okay, they're like a dollar sixty or a dollar seventy-five at Walmart or the Dollar General store. Get you a pack of the Eckerd smoke sausage and throw it in here. It's the best quick dinner you could possibly buy. It is so good. This stuff rocks. So anyway, an up to date on a couple things. Um, there is no more suburban. I know that's gonna, you know, disappoint a lot of you guys. I had uh, very little in it, and I turned around and, um, which allowed me to start another phase in my life which is to get fully debt free um i will maybe get into how i went about doing that it's, it's not done yet but by first of march if all goes well um all the bad debt that's followed me throughout my life will be taken care of um and i also want to say thank you to all the new subscribers um i didn't realize I had hit over the 5,000 subscriber mark, which I always thought I was like 3,200. <laughs> Just having to look at the new analytics on YouTube, and it was like 5,090 or 5,100 or something like that. And it kind of blew me away. I was like, wow. I was like, so uh, I really appreciate all you guys. I appreciate all the, the comments I've been getting on the mobile home uh, renovation videos and all the encouragement. It's really cool. And I just want to say how much I really appreciate you guys because I know my videos are pretty crappy. <laughs> so I'm not a high quality video guy. I tried for a minute, but you know, some people just have skills to do certain things and some people don't. And it seems like I'm always right in the middle. So I'm good with that. Um, let's see. It's still wet outside. I really can't do anything outside. Um, you know, it's everything's the same. Other than the kerosene heater and my dog taking a nap on her couch. Uh, that's about it. I, uh, I had to get all of the stuff that I had in storage uh, back where I came from out. So I've packed every room in this trailer full of stuff like chairs and extra tables. And, you know, the, I keep the living room fairly clean because that's kind of like, that's where I, I do the most of my time. I spend most of my time. But once you get in the hallway, the extra bedroom, that's my tool shed, the bathroom, and the back bedroom, it's packed full of just nothing but stuff. I just have to go through it and get rid of it. I've sold some stuff, um, but it's, it's just a lot. So I'm going to give you guys a heads up. Uh, probably come close to spring. Maybe a little bit later in spring. I'm actually thinking about buying my own dump truck. <laughs> I know you, you totally were sideswiped by that. You didn't see it one coming. Um, I've always wanted a dump truck, maybe nothing like really big, like a one ton four wheel drive Ford and an older one, you know, like an F three fifty with a small dump on it or an older, like a 1969, 1970, f600 or f700 dump you can get them fairly reasonably for 3500 bucks um why do i want a dump truck well part of my long-term plan is once i'm debt free you know anything i buy vehicle wise is gonna have to make me money unless i purposely set out to buy have a fun purchase so part of my plan is living uh outside of the system not getting on the rat wheel of the typical job and being miserable and having debt which in turn makes you a slave you know all that stuff anything i buy needs to be able to generate me income to help sustain my goal of not being a part of the rat race and if i had a small dump truck that is one thing around here in the country that I could use to make money. You know, a lot of people where I live um, need stuff like gravel, field dirt, you know, stuff like that. They need wood hauled 
uh, mulch, stuff, you know, small things like that. But at the same time, they don't want to get like a double axle or a triple axle dump truck with 20 or 30 tons on it. And I've talked to a lot of people around here that I just need four tons or I just need five tons, you know. With a smaller dump truck, I would be kindly filling a niche. Granted, I would still be making uh, close to the same money from what I understand like it's a full-size dump truck, but yet I just wouldn't be able to carry as much. Um, so I might be able to do five to seven ton, which would be fine. You know, Plus, it'd be easier to park, and if I can keep the weight rating of the truck below a certain amount i think it's uh 18,000 pounds maybe it's 13,000 pounds there's no cdo required which i have a class a with hazmat and tanker endorsement and uh all that stuff the simpler i can keep it the better so a dump truck might be in my future come late spring and i'm also kind of pre-shopping maybe a small mini excavator that i can pull behind my dump truck where I could like do little trenches or do odd end stuff. Because when you're out in the country, there's not a lot of people that have services like that. And what I'm learning is I need that stuff done myself. But the guys that do do it are so backed up. They're, you know, eight weeks, 12 weeks out, they're backed up on stuff. And when I want stuff done, I want to get stuff done. And I hate waiting for people because, you know. I got stuff I got to do. I want to get finished. So that's kind of a look of what's going on in the future with me. It may or may not happen, but that's kind of my goal. That's kind of a plan I've got going. So, uh, oh, also, uh, let's, what else is going on? There's a few other things, but I'm not going to really get into it right now. I just want to say thanks to everybody and kind of give everybody a heads up what might be coming along in the future. Uh, if you got any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I'll try to make a video reply uh, if it's something I think people would be interested in hearing. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, let's see some walking. Yeah, you like that? There's a little bit of cold air coming through my floor vent, so I just threw it on there and kind of keep keep it out. Um, got to improvise. Make do the best with what you got. And I had a rag or a <laughs> dish towel. So that's what I did. Jamie, you want to be on YouTube? Huh? Like, no, that's okay. I'm just kind of sleeping. I got to get her to the groomer. She's getting way too out of control. So, um, yeah, if you got any comments, whatever, leave them below. I'll get back to them. Um, or if you have any video ideas, like, kind of things you're interested with the trailer um leave those below too and if you know i'll see what i can't do so okay so i think that's it guys i want you all to have a good rest of your week and i'll probably post another video this weekend so i'll talk to you all later hey what is your favorite food prep huh is it bacon strips <laughs> i think it is you want to sit in well, give me a paw. No, I just want one paw. Can you do one? There we go. Can I get a lay? There, that's good enough. You've done every trick in the book.